So, light is a wave. What to do about it? Well, waves have some amazing properties. And that's what this whole series is about, trying to understand what light can do as a wave. So to understand this, we need to understand these amazing properties of the waves first, and then apply them to light. And the first property that we're going to talk about is called as interference of light. And the name itself, you know, sort of gives it away. Basically, it's about what happens when two or more, more waves meet each other. Unlike particles, they don't just bounce off each other, but they do some really interesting stuff. Well, that's what we're going to learn about as to what's going to happen. Enjoy. So we're going to talk about interference of waves and light. Well, to understand that, we need to talk about waves a little bit. Waves are characterized by what we call as the crests, which mean the mountains, and the troughs, which are the valleys. Now, what happens when two waves interfere? Now, they can interfere in such a way that the two mountains meet each other. And when they do that, they create a bigger mountain. Or the two troughs meet each other, the two valleys. and they make a bigger valley. In such case, since the resulting wave has become even bigger than before, we call this as construction or constructive interference. On the other hand, I can also have a mountain, where it is, a mountain and a valley trying to meet each other. And when they do, what happens? Well, they're going to destroy each other. Now, they may or may not destroy. It depends upon which one is bigger. If it turns out that they both, both are of the same size, then yeah, they're going to kill each other completely. And we call it as destructive interference of waves. Since light is a wave, light must be able to do that. Isn't that amazing? Light must be able to constructively interfere. That's not so amazing. Light plus light giving you brighter light. All right, not a big deal. However, light and light can also meet up to give you darkness. That is amazing, isn't it? Only when you think about light as a wave, can two light waves meet each other and kill each other. And that's what we're going to see. Can light actually do that? Oh yes, it turns out it can. So when lights constructively interfere, we call them as a maxima, that spot, we call it as a maxima, because you get a maximum intensity. And when they destructively interfere, we get a minima. So what we're going to try and find out is, what are the conditions? When do we get maximas in general and when do we get minimas? That's what we're going to try and find out now.